I have just arrived in Thailand, Bangkok. It's a really nice flight. I mean, there's a nine hour flight, and I was talking to the person next to me the whole way, and yeah, it's just just amazing. I felt like best of friends with her by the end of it, and yeah, really good flight. So I've got here, it's phenomenally large city from what I can tell. It's pitch dark so it's very hard to to know but we were just driving for ages through city and if I show you out the window this is a hotel room which I think is beautiful. Um, you know nice surprise. Oh, I've got, hold on a minute. I've never seen a mini bar with quite this selection of products on it. Like particularly the one in the bottom left there. That was quite interesting. Um, oh, near the Thai mini bar, would you get that? Right, I don't know how much of this you can see next to nothing, I think. But I actually see piers that I've got a pretty phenomenal view of. I don't know what that is. It's obviously part of the city. I couldn't tell you if it's a sea centre or the. I couldn't tell you where we are. A guy on the bus, sort of Australian guy on the bus, said this is pretty good hotel actually he seemed to think that this was pretty close to the centre sort of walkable and to like head out the main lobby and turn right but it's kind of where we came on the bus and it didn't look like much of a centre to me but we shall see yeah so I can't remember the last video I did in Australia um, I'm trying to think what it what I was talking about but basically I think I did all the cars and stuff like that, Eric and Elaine, so Eric and Elaine's really nice place, um, we had a lovely meal and stuff and got up the next morning and went to the airport, nothing major to report to be honest, um, bit of a mad rush in Sydney to get the connecting flight because you go through the security at Brisbane and then when you come out the other end of security you can sort of buy stuff which I did and and then when you land at Sydney you land at the domestic airport and you've got to get to the international airport and I had an hour and 15 minutes before my flight left and I'd already checked in so I thought well, it's not, not hard and I drove I drive so you walk to the international transfers bit which took a fair bit of time to be honest and then I wait for a bus for what seemed like ages. Oh, and the flight was caught for an hour late. And then he caught a bus over. And then when we got in there, you had to go through security again. So I had to queue up for all that and put all put all my bags through or whatever. And then my bag got seized for searching. And they asked me if I had any water in the bag. I said, no, I haven't got any water in the bag. And then I remember... And then she sort of like went to unzip the pocket and pulled out a bottle of water. I just bought it in Brisbane after security because it's sort of like the default thing to do, buy the water after security. So a full bottle of water, it wasn't even opened. And yeah, so that was that. <laughs> so I went in the bin. And then I had to run to the gate because it was final call. You know, ridiculous. So got on the plane all right anyway so anyway all was fine right so shocking wi-fi reception in this room it's i've never known anything so poor in my life it sort of flicks in and out like basically you're never going to be able to connect to wi-fi so i don't know how i'm going to get the rest of the australian videos up or even this one to be honest you might be seeing this when i come back because i must have well i've got loads more australian videos to put up as I speak right now and you know I'm gonna be in India tomorrow no day after tomorrow and I can't see how I'm gonna upload much from from there but I'm gonna be you know shooting a hell of a lot of video I guess yeah pretty mad right so I'm going to eat and report how Bangkok is tomorrow <laughs>